Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 153rd Troop Command's Transfer of Authority Ceremony. The outgoing Command Sergeant Major is uh, CSM Martin Foose, and the incoming Command Sergeant Major is CSM Joseph Frein. At this time, to honor the wife of the outgoing Brigade Command Sergeant Major, a bouquet of red flowers will be presented to Mrs. Lauren Neville Foose in appreciation of her dedicated service on behalf of the 153rd Troop Command. A bouquet of yellow flowers is now being presented to Mrs. Callie Frying, wife of the incoming Command Sergeant Major, welcoming her to the command. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Michael Fowler is presiding for today's ceremony, and the commander of the troops is Sergeant Major Michael Mulgaard. Units participating in today's ceremony are from left to right, 102nd Military Police Battalion. The Command Sergeant Major is CSM Mark Duras. The 204th Engineer Battalion. The Command Sergeant Major is CSM Anthony Giamberdino. And the 501st EOD Battalion. The Command Sergeant Major is CSM Kevin Conklin. Brigade! Brigade! State Command Sergeant Major Lewis Wilson. Father God, we thank you for this day that you have given to us for this occasion to bring us together, which reminds us of the strength of our military and the freedom it defends, as well as the role that the 153rd Troop Command plays in the defense of freedom here in New York and around the world. Thank you for Command Sergeant Major Marty Foos for his committed and faithful service as the Brigade Command Sergeant Major. Thank you for the positive impact that he, he has had on the soldiers, the families, and the missions of the Brigade. We pray that you will continue to be with him and bless him and his wife, Lauren, as they move on to the next chapter of their lives. We also pray that you will be with Command Sergeant Major Joe Fryer as he takes on this challenge. Provide him everything that he needs to serve with faithfulness, courage, and integrity as he continues to work the great work that Command Sergeant Major Foose has begun. Give his wife, Callie, 
the continued strength to support her husband and his assignments. Lord, we pray that you will bless this time that we share together and pray that everything that is said and done here today will be pleasing to you. And as you continue to bless us, the 53rd Troop Command, the state of New York and the United States of America. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Please be seated. Brigade! At this time, Colonel Fowler joins Command Sergeant Major Foose and Command Sergeant Major Frying for the passing of the non-commissioned officer sword. The War Department in 1840 adopted the unique non-commissioned officer sword. It is a completely functional weapon, not intended for display, but rather for hard and dedicated use. While no longer part of the Army's inventory, American sergeants wore it for over 70 years. The passing of the sword signifies the relinquishing of responsibility and authority from the outgoing to the incoming Command Sergeant Major. Command Sergeant Majors may come and go, but the sword remains razor sharp. Sergeant Major Mulgard retrieves the sword from the Brigade Color Bearer. The Color Bearer entrusted with the symbol of the unit today also holds the non-commissioned officer's sword, symbol of the authority of the NCO. Sergeant Major Mulgard passes the sword to Command Sergeant Major Foose in final deference to his authority and leadership. Command Sergeant Major Foose inspects the sword, symbolizing his assurance of the sharpness of the brigade. He then passes the sword to the brigade commander, signifying the relinquishing of his duties and gratitude for the opportunity to care for the fine soldiers of the 153rd Troop Command. Colonel Fowler passes the sword to Command Sergeant Major Fry, delegating authority and entrusting him with the responsibility and care of the unit. Command Sergeant Major Fry inspects the blade, confirming the sterling condition of the brigade. He then passes the sword back to Sergeant Major Mulgard and the color bearer, symbolizing his dedication to the soldiers of the 153rd Troop Command and the continuity of the NCO support channel. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 153rd Troop Command, Colonel Michael Fowler. Good afternoon, General Natale, Colonel Smith, State Command Sergeant Major Wilson, retired. Command uh, Sergeants Majors, family and guests. We're here today to recognize and acknowledge the accomplishments of Command Sergeant Major Foose. His 35-year career is distinguished through service in a succession of positions of great importance and responsibility to the Army. Command Sergeant Major Foose served as a first sergeant in a combat engineer company. That company was one of the first units to be assigned the search and extraction mission supporting the Had All Hazards Response Force. This is a pretty significant mission. And to be one of the first uh, senior NCO leaders of that mission is a great accomplishment. He led that mission, establishing some of the best practices and TTPs that are still used to this day by current units. His expertise and experience as a senior enlisted engineer has proven time and time again invaluable <coughs> to all of our state's missions. As a BSB Command Sergeant Major, he oversaw the training and mobilization of the battalion for deployments to Afghanistan in January 2012. This was no minor accomplishment. This challenging deployment had the battalion spread across the entire CENTCOM AOR. And as a Command Sergeant Major, to know that your soldiers are spread across 
an entire AOR is a significant feat. He met this challenge head on, ensured the safety, the training, and the standards were met, and brought each of his soldiers home safely, accomplishing the mission with accolades. A significant portion of this was the CENTCOM task of closing down operating bases and transporting the massive amounts of equipment and material out of theater. That's no small accomplishment. When he returned from deployment, he was assigned as the Command Sergeant Major to the 204th Engineer Battalion, where he's involved in numerous state activations, responding to ice, snow, and flood relief operations across the state. We all know how busy the Engineer Battalion has been. They're one of the most sought after assets during any state emergency, and it's no small task to be the senior NCO and lead those missions. Your ability to enforce troop leading procedures and unit readiness is top notch. As you prepare this next chapter of your life, be confident that your experience, your professionalism, and your commitment to the Army has left a lasting legacy that you can be extremely proud of. You have prepared several soldiers and left a legacy that will stand the test of time. As you and Lauren start this next chapter of your lives, I wish you both continued success and may you both be blessed with many years of well-deserved happiness. Command Sergeant Major Frying, it's my pleasure to welcome you and Kaylee to the brigade as you take on this additional responsibility. Not only as the senior NCO, but as my right-hand man in the leadership team. I have full faith and confidence in your experience and your leadership ability. You have proven yourself worthy and are ready for the challenge. I welcome your counsel and value your opinion. This is a significant milestone in your career for both you and your family. And you should be very proud of your accomplishments. I look forward to serving with you as we lead the outstanding soldiers of this brigade. Thank you. Publish the award. Brigade! Hey! Attention! Attention orders. This is an interim award pending the approval of the Legion of Merit. To all who shall see these present screening, to th this is to certify that the President of the United States of America, authorized by Executive Order 16 January 1969, has awarded the Meritorious Service Medal to Command Sergeant Major Mark J. Booth for exceptionally meritorious service spanning over 35 years in positions of great responsibility. Command Sergeant Major Foose has consistently demonstrated his superior leadership, mentoring, adherence to standards, and outstanding management skills, culminating in his assignment as Brigade Command Sergeant Major. His exemplary service is in keeping with the highest tradition of military service, reflecting great credit upon himself, the New York Army National Guard, and the United States Army. Signed, Michael A. Vitelli, Brigadier General, New York Army National Guard, Commanding. Cool. Sergeant Major Frying on his, on his new assignment. 
Um, you know, for me, this has been a very uh, a, a challenging but a rewarding uh, assignment, and um, I wish you the best of luck. Um, Colonel Fowler, um, regrettably, you know, our command team time was uh, was much too short, and we, we never really got a chance to develop that uh, you know that command team bond, that special bond between a, a battalion commander or a brigade commander and a and a brigade CSM. But um, you know, last month we got a chance to spend some good quality windshield time together, and um, you know, the, the one thing that I do know is that you and Sergeant Major Frying both share a common soldiers first, mission always mentality. And the fact that you guys both share that, have that in common, is gonna make for a great command team. And um, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure you got a good, good team over here, and I, and I expect them to do great things for uh, the New York Army National Guard and, and the soldiers of the 153rd Troop. So, good, best of luck to you. Um, it's been about, about, a, about a year ago, um, I started to realize that, um, you know, physically, old Sergeant Major Foos is starting to break down, and uh, I started contemplating uh, retirement. Um, so, it, it became apparent. So, you know, I made my intentions known first to uh, Command Sergeant Major Cush, and then State CSM Pawarski, and, um, you know, they, they made the announcement, my, they announced my replacement about six months ago, Sergeant Major Frying, we all know that. Um, but the, the point is, um, I've had about a year to go through the process of uh, all the melancholy, melancholy emotions that are associated with retirement, you know, um, uncertainty, doubt, fear, regret, sadness, all that stuff, I've already put that to, to rest, okay? Um, but so what I wanted to say is that I, I stand before you today filled with nothing but pride, gratitude, and satisfaction, okay? Um, I'm, and, and I say satisfaction because I, I'm very proud. Um, my career, my 34-year career has spanned um, a significant transformation of the New York Army National Guard. Um, you know, in the mid, mid to late 80s, quite frankly, you know, the New York Army National Guard was, was closer to a, um, a beer drinking social club with a bunch of dudes that used to like to play with Army stuff on the weekend, and, and that's how it was. And it, and it has transferred, it's transformed to what it is today, um, which is a, uh, a viable um, professional military organization capable and prepared and capable to do the state and nation's work. And you know what, um, <laughs> not, not like I did it, but you know what, I contributed in some little way, and, and, and I'm, I'm very, uh, I take a lot of pride in that. Um, and, oh, by the way, you know, don't take my word for it. Look at this formation. Look at these the soldiers over here, these leaders here. Look at my command sergeant majors out on the floor. Every single, look at my first sergeants in the first row holding all these guys. Every single one of them is a stud. Okay? And guess what? Each one of those these soldiers out on the floor, out in the front here, they have a, 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 an officer that they sit at the right hand of who are as equally as brilliant. So, this, you know, for, from my perspective, to see where the National Guard started from and where it is today and where it's going to go into the future. I take great pride in that. So, that said, um, yes, you know, I, I'm grateful as well. Um, you know, people I've met, the relationships I've developed, the bonds that have been created, um, the places I've seen, the missions I've accomplished, the, the things I've learned, all those things have, um, made me the, the man that I am today, and, and I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Um, you know, we all, we all want to cloak ourselves in, um, you know, honor and respect, and, and the only way to do that is to do honorable and respectful things, okay? And the New York Army National Guard is, is that platform which has allowed me to do that. Um, so again, 
I'm very grateful for my time in the New York Army National Guard. Um, Lauren, with all that said, all that stuff that I just said, um, without a shred of apprehension, um, I'm effortlessly going to leave that military life behind it. <laughs> and and, and I'm, I'm, I'm so looking forward to opening the next chapter of our life together. Um, so, by the power invested in me, <laughs> by the state of New York, <laughs> New York Army National Guard, I hear it all do relieve you of all responsibilities of being a military wife. <laughs> so I say we stick a fork in this ceremony to live our lives happy. <laughs>
for the playing of the army song. <laughs>